Hello there, we are going to make a very interesting project today, like I have ESP32 cam and a TFT display. This is a ESP32 camera streaming project, like everything captured in this camera is shown in this display, you can see, like, uh, hello, you can see me in this display. This is using the IP address to communicate between this client and this server. So I think you'll have fun making this project and all the code and component are listed in this description. Code is given in the GitHub. So let's start this project right now. To start off this ESP32 camera streaming project, we need all these items. Uh, this is the display and we are using ESP32 cam connecting with a 2 megapixel OV2640 camera. And this is the ESP32 camera micro USB programmer. We are connecting the micro USB to program this microprocessor. And breadboards, obviously this display, this is the 2.8 inch TS TFT display. Uh, the driver number is 7789, uh, 7789 with this ESP32, this is the Type-C version and breadboard and a few jumper wires is all that we need and obviously these connectors to connect with our PC this is the micro USB and this is the type C now we are going to do the wearing part first of all we have to connect this ESP32 make this ESP32 cam so connect this 2 megapixel camera with our ESP32 cam let's connect okay camera connected and next we have to just connect this uh, micro USB programmer with our ESP32 cam and all the streaming part or all the client part is done. Now we have to just prepare this server, wearing of the server. The server means the streaming or the JPG images collected by this camera will be shown in this display uh, with the use of access point using IP address. So this one done. Now I have to connect this ESP32 and this LCD display. I'm using two breadboards just to connect this ESP32. Let's do the connection of ESP32 and this display. Keep it here, keep it here and just connect. Okay, ESP and LCD is connected. Now we are using these jumper wires to make the connection between this ESP32 and this LCD display. Now we have to just make the connection. I'm giving the diagram of this pin connection in the in the screen and you have to just connect them let's put it there and have a click okay the connection between these pins are done and this uh, client part is done and the server part is also done I have to just connect this uh, this with USB micro USB of this ESP cam and this with the type C and check if everything is working or not I have pre-uploaded this code and pre-uploaded this code of this client and this server in these microcontrollers and saved it but I will explain definitely let's check if everything is working or not first of all connect this server let's see if it's working okay my display is completely working connect this client with micro USB okay and have this reset pin if it's not connecting restart this reset this pin okay now yes everything is working you can see hello you can see me in this display and everything is working fine let's have a rotation of this room you can see everything this is the computer and this is me hello so everything is working fine so let's understand the code how it's working right now we have to understand the programming of this esp32 cam streaming and this is the client as usual and this is the server you can see we are first going to understand the code of this server so let's go to the coding uh, this is the server this is the complete code like this are the included libraries you will you'll have to download all these libraries like search in the tab ESP, SPIH and then Arduino WebSockets, then Wi Fi, maybe Wi Fi is built in, and ESP TFT underscore ESPI for the TFT connection and TJPG decoder. And, and then I have to just configure the TFT pins for this project. Like you will have when you have this TFT underscore ESPI downloaded, the Arduino ID by default creates a folder in the 
document section for the first time you install this arduino id this is the arduino folder you just go there and you will find the libraries where all the libraries are installed and then you just find the e uh, tft underscore espi you found that and go to the user underscore setup so i have already opened it and let's see what's the coding here keep everything by default and just you have to uncomment the driver of your tft display for me it is st7789 and your driver may be different from mine just uncomment this like uh, for your code you can uncomment uncom this and just uncomment this one if this one is your library this is my driver and then you have to just uh, uncomment the tft width and tft height for me it's 240 uh, into 320 and then and in the bottom section you will have these pins like the way you connected this esp32 with this uh, tft display just use this pin numbers and for backlight or backlit or led i'm using the 3.3 voltage okay everything done at the bottom what i have let's see just spi frequency is this value this value is by default set in this uh, in this code file just save this code file right now now let's go to this uh, esp32 server again you have to create the wi-fi like the name of your ssid and the password this is a dummy password not actually my wife is password so it's using this as a ip address and connecting and making an access point with the websocket we are using this and then uh, client connected false like we are checking in this uh, setup function while connecting this client server and for tsp display we are using this this is a tft output code i just copied this from the uh, from the github like it's just print use, useful to print this uh, jpg images in this tft and in the setup like the serial serial monitor and then tft like positioning the text cursor and using this uh, color fill ups and then tgp tjpg to decode the seri the binary data and making the jpg output and then wi-fi soft wi-fi access point to create uh, start the access point and then the port number i'm using the port number 8888 and after that setting the cursor and printing this in tft before the connection of this esp32 and the server let's in the loop check we are checking that if the server pool is working or not client connected or not and then we are you we are sending this message to our ts in our lcd that this client is connected to our server and, and and then if client is available and everything is working we are just uh, printing these uh, images one by one uh, like having very low latency for this like this code is also i have copied from the github to show this jpg images of the tjpg decoder and then if we don't get anything like we are showing invalid jpg jpg dimensions like the dimensions are uh, are 240 into 320 according to the ratio of my tft and at the bottom we are just continuously uh, printing this val this G jpg images in my display so let's just upload this code using esp32 development module so let's just connect let's just upload this code and see everything's working or not so the code is uploading let's see what happens the tft just became white the code isn't uploaded yet 52 percent 90 95 yep 100 percent code uploaded complete you can see the setting access point my ip address is shown port number and waiting for this client now i have code uploaded code here uh, if i just press this rsd button of this esp32 cam it will start it will automatically connect with this ip address and upload uh, upload the jpg images in binary and connecting with this esp32 then the binary will convert it again into jpg images so just press the rst button 
Oops, not connected. Connect with the USB. Okay, USB connection done. Okay, see, uh, everything's connected. Like the IP address is made the connection between this ESP32 client with the ESP32 server. Uh, now we are going to work with the ESP32 CAM client. Let's see what's in the client. In the client, you have to just use this ESP3 ESP underscore camera library and connect to Wi-Fi and Arduino web sockets. To connect, we have to configure this board number, board configuration, uh, like in this ESP32 underscore cam underscore web socket client. You just go to board configuration. In the board configuration, define your camera model. For me, it's camera underscore model underscore AI underscore thinker. So how will you get this portion? Just go to files and then in the examples, ESP32, in the USB32, you will see this camera, camera to the camera web server. Uh, camera web server, you will have this code file. Here you have to just, you will have the pre-template of this ESP32 camera uh, and you just copy this code uh, in this file uh, in this one and here in the board configuration you have to just use uncomment this this one just uncomment this one and you'll have everything fine so let's understand this right now uh, don't save uh, like yeah, the same SSID you will use here, the SSID you used in the server and the password 123429 and the WebSockets server host, the IP address you got from the TFT or also in the serial monitor and the port number you saw that we used 8888 and WebSocket client using namespace and all these pin definitions were predefined. What you have to change like for 3 20 into 240 you have to use this QVGA like just change this one frame frame size underscore QVGA and then in the bottom section you have to JPG quality 10 these are the changes you have to do and ultimately in the loop section like connecting with our Wi-Fi and checking if it's connected or not and also connecting with our with our IP address and taking some time 10 seconds to check if it's connected or not it's a delay to check if it's everything's connected and not connected then WebSocket connection failed and at the bottom what we can see we're just converting uh, these images to the binary this binary format and sending to our server and the server is receiving this binary data and this is how this one is working but you have to change a few things here uh, like in the tools uh, you just configure this one in your Arduino ID and then upload the code in your ESP32 cam using this ESP32 microprogrammer and just connect it with your uh, PC and have the RST button pressed but always you have to first connect this server and then connect this client and then uh, it will work I think you had fun making this project ESP32 camera streaming in this channel any kind of update you can make about it just comment in the comment section and I will watch it and also upgrade this in my microcontroller so thanks for staying tuned and subscribe to this channel thank you very much